I'm Katie Nastro, and this is The Beach, the only sailing web series taking you on, offshore, and well, wherever the wind may take us. On this episode of The Beat, we highlighted some non-traditional methods to enjoy the wind. Even though we weren't racing, we still were able to have an awesome time out on the water. So hop on the ferry, pack a bag, and meet us on the vineyard. We're here at Vineyard Haven Yacht Club. So Nevin, you grew up in this very competitive sailing program, lifestyle, and then all of a sudden, you're now involved in this very non-competitive program. How did you get involved in that? Basically watching the kids and watching what was happening at this program and learning what's happening at other programs. But the bottom line was, for years, we had kids full classes at age eight, but by the time they got to 14, 15, we'd have six, eight, seven kids left and they were going away. And so we looked at, well, why is that? And then these new cool things came out for kids in sailing. You know, windsurfing, open bicks, cool plastic boats that are more fun to sail, they can bomb around in. And that really changed things because suddenly we could do a program much more about fun and less about competition. And a lot of kids, you know, just love that. Can you tell us a little bit about the Reachers program? Well, the Reachers program is basically our alternative program. And it's for those kids who, for whatever reason, don't fit into our traditional Opti 420 track and really just want to have fun. Freestyle. Ready? Three, two, one. You're on. Go. Three minute heat. Oh Whoa. We do a lot of fun things. And, but what they're doing is they're doing drills, they're playing tennis ball tag, they're playing follow the leader, they're doing all this crazy stuff, they're capsizing, and guess what? Their seamanship, their boat handling is actually really remarkable. It is. They, I'm going to get in one pretty soon, and these kids are going to be sailing circles around me, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have fun. You'll be a little on the big side, okay. not much. Wait, are you? No, are you no, 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 no. no. <laughs> So Jack and Colleen, the uh, instructors extraordinaires for the Reachers program, you guys are so entertaining for the kids and the kids just love it. What can you tell me about this program and how it differs from, say, just another um, intro to sailing class? A lot of the other classes are measured kind of by skill level and, you know, where you can fall and what, you know, how would you compete in a regatta and so on. We take all of them and so we have the kids who have been sailing their whole lives um, and are racing and really intense racers. We also have kids who just come and kind of like are like let's go for a sail. Yeah and we also have the kids that were in sailing and are now terrified of sailing because of some event or another and we're kind of like I like yeah I like to call it sea hab. We're, um, we're like turning them back into ocean lovers. When you're with Reachers you don't have to worry about like what place you get in the races. It's all about just like just getting out there and just having fun and then coming back in. I think it's like awesome because you don't have to be competitive. You can just go wherever you really want. And having like um, like a good social experience because it's in the summer and we get to meet new kids and um, spend time sailing and having fun. My favorite part is we get to sail different boats so we're not always stuck in the same boat every single time. Dougie! We are here with Rob Douglas, a local legend in the kiteboarding scene. We had a quick lesson with him earlier and now we're back on dry land. So Rob, you were a big windsurfer before the kiteboarding. How did you get into the kiteboarding? Uh, it's a kind of a natural progression uh, within windsurfing and because we generally experience 15 to 25 knots, um, windsurfing for me was exciting in 25 knots and uh, more. It proved that way and, and it's kept me interested since 2005. Mm -hmm. And I hear that you also broke a world's fastest speed record on the kiteboard. Yeah, we set uh, two outright world speed sailing records, uh, 2008 at uh, 49 knots and broke 50 knots. In 2010, we did 55.65 knots, which uh, to this day is 
is still the fastest American um, record, and uh, number three overall, and number two in the kite. Walk me through the steps, um, you know, from starting to getting into the water to putting the board on and all that. Yeah, first, I, first real step is to find a nice uh, site selection, so mm -hmm. make sure there's no trees around, make sure there's open beach, make mm -hmm. sure there's not little kids running around. They have a big open area, and you, you first walk your bar out, so you uncoil your lines like we saw we, we, how we wrap them up. Mm -hmm make the trailer all nicely separated, mm -hmm. and then you inflate the kite, hook up the kite correctly, which can be difficult if you're a beginner, okay. but if you have good instruction to go over that so it becomes second nature, because one of the biggest problems is, is not rigging the kite correctly and then launching it yourself. So just take your time, um, rig it correctly, double check, <laughs> rig it right, and make sure your equipment is always, when you're walking your lines out of rigging your kite, inspect your equipment for wear and tear. Make sure it's safe, ready to go, and, and you'll be good. Well, that's it for this episode of The Beat. Check us out next time. Log on to ussailingthebeat.org and find out where we're going next. See you later.